हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल द लर्निंग हब इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वर्किंग ऑफ के नियर एस नेवर वी हैव डन नोमरिकल प्रॉब्लम ऑन के नियर एस नेवर लाइक हाउ द के नियर एस नेवर वर्क एंड हाउ इट हैज बिन डेवलप्ड एंड इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ के नियर एस नेवर इन पाइथन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वट आर द वेरियस लाइब्रेरीज दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड इन के नियर एस नेवर एंड ऑल सच थिंग विल बी डिस्कस्ड इन दिस केस so before proceeding further if you have uh, not gone through the previous videos of k nearest neighbor algorithm in which we have discussed the numerical problem also so i suggest you to uh, watch those videos uh, then you are uh, supposed to watch this implementation in python so let's begin so the very first thing in the very first stage we will be importing the necessary libraries like numpy pandas and matplotlib for visualization so firstly we will import all those libraries after importing these libraries the next step we know is uh, importing the data set so in this case we are using iris data set which consists of sepal length sepal width petal length petal width attributes and these attributes are will be used to predict the class to Uh, whether they belongs to virginica stosa or versicolor class so it is being used in that way uh, so for let's firstly import that data set that is uh, available already available with me okay uh, so we will read the data uh, from this iris csv data file and we will have a quick look at how this data frame looks like so this data frame consists of sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width and based on that there is a column that is pieces so this pieces column is predicting as uh, whether the data um, whether that uh, flower particular flower belongs to setosa category or to virginica to versicolor and all such so in this case we are having 150 rows and six columns actually we have the main five attributes are sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width and species five and this identity column is just a serial number which is not required so we can drop this uh, during uh, the next step before dividing the data into x and uh, y that is dependent and independent variables once this is done we know the very next step is to read the data set and divide the data set up to into two parts that is x and y variables so let's quickly do that so let's drop the id column that we have left uh, that we have already discussed not required so we will drop drop this id column by using drop id and x is equal to 1 because we need to drop this complete column so that's why we are setting x is equal to 1 so if we say we write over here x is equal to 0 then it will be row wise but here we want to delete the complete column we want to remove the complete column so we will use uh, drop uh, id and x is equal to 1 because one x is 1 stands for column wise in place equal to 2 so that the changes are permanently made to the data frame now we will uh, do the implementation or uh, x, dividing the data into x so for that we will uh, import from uh, df the data frame i with the help of i location column so i location here we are using rows and uh, columns so we know that uh, the very uh, this one is not required that is the species column it is not required in a training set so what will we do in this case we will train the data with these parameters and minus 1 will just ignore the species column so that's why we will use minus 1 that is excluding the last column fine and here what we have said we have not used any minus symbol and we are picking a four column so if you want to discard any of the column and you want to pick the all others then you can simply write the number like in this case we have done minus 1 last will be discarded in this case remember this minus 1 doesn't this one doesn't mean the index column this means uh, if we are picking with the uh, it will simply drop the last one and we want to pick four so we will not use minus over here we will use four so that this four columns id we have already dropped so we are having sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width we will do that so before doing this let's have a look at df once again just let me insert one cell so have a look at df the data frame so here we can see earlier we were having this id column fine now we have used drop id x is equal to 1 true so we now we see this df will consist of only um, those four call attributes and the fifth one as pieces and id has been dropped 
now we will drop this column in x axis we don't need in the x that is in uh, independent variable we don't need species because this is a dependent in our case we are going to predict uh, this species so we will use minus one to discard this and if we want to pick all those these four columns we will use simply plus four so that is what we have done uh, with the it will pick the location index location of a particular column and based on that values will be picked on so we are using this and similarly to pick the four uh, records we will use this now we can have a quick look at what is there in x so if we want to look at x we will see the species is not coming because we in which we have used minus one similarly now we will have a quick look at the y also so here we can see uh, the species column is coming fine uh, because we are picking the fourth one okay uh, so in this case we are going with this so we have separated the data into dependent and independent variable now we will uh, start the training of the model for that we will import from sql and model selection import train test for meeting for separating the data as we have done in linear regression and logistic regression so this is the same step that we have performed so we are uh, we are not going to discuss that in detail because same has been already performed now once this is done uh, we will do some scaling of the data so that the all values will have same magnitude same uh, measurements uh, measurements means they are on the same scale same type of value scaling will be done no ups, ups and downs will be there for that we will use the standard scalar function so let's use that so here we have we can see from sql and processing import standard scalar uh, call that function into sc now fit the x train fit uh, all this model and do the transformation of that and for training and testing now scaling has been done after the scaling has been done now we will uh, use the uh, knn for uh, the purpose of training our model fitting that is fitting the model onto training set so for that we have used the model name as c1 uh, so what we are doing over here skill and import k, k neighbors classifier package and uh, for the in uh, we will use this function and we are specifying n neighbors is equal to 5 so this is uh, specifying the value of k in this case we are saying that the algorithm is 5nn we are doing implementation of 5nn because we have given the value of k as 5 so it can be given with n underscore neighbors parameter equal to 5 now once this is done now we will what we need to do we will use this c1 model for making the predictions fine so we have fit the model so the it has worked successfully now let's do the testing so for testing we will use predict fine now we can see the results of the prediction that are in y underscore predict so these are the predicted uh, values that is 20 percent of data we used for uh, the testing purpose so we have done the prediction on that that is basically the classification to which this uh, 20 percent data values will belong to now we will check the accuracy of the model so for checking the accuracy we will use confusion matrix so we have already uh, discussed about confusion matrix in previous video so in this case we know that this is available under uh, matrices library sklearn.matrices matrix import confusion matrix and classification report so we will print the classification wrote, uh, report on y test and y prediction because y test was consisting of the actual values on which we have done the testing and y prediction uh, will consist of the values on, on which we have done the prediction similarly we will print confusion matrix for that so here we can see it is giving uh, per season we call f1 score and sport for all such categories like iris tosa versicolor virginica and for it is giving the accuracy of the model that is 0 0.90 0 0.90 that is approximately 93 percent it has also given the precision and uh, recall that is specificity and sensitivity cases and here it is the confusion matrix of uh, that which is showing that uh, uh, Satosa has been predicted as Satosa 8 times, 11 species of versicolor predicted as versicolor and so on. Uh, so that's all about uh, KNN. In the next video we will be discussing about K-means clustering.